Fahrenheit 451 we all read, watched the movies. We all love Ray Bradbury, since childhood. I have always wanted to conduct a peril in ancient times, there were people books that preserve the most sacred, from invaders, from fires. In other words, the sacred was not trusted in paper or papyrus, but in people. For example, in Georgia there are still people who know the poem of Shota Rustavelli, although it consists of 1669 verses. In India there is even a term for people who keep all the Vedas in their minds, who heard. Here's a quick breakdown of the Fahrenheit 451 finale. The main character rebels against tyranny, escapes from the Kafkaesque machine symbolized in the form of an android dog, with a deadly sting. He finds a railroad track, leading from the city inland. Around is deserted. The rails themselves are rusted. This railway is a symbol of the lost humanity. Like Moses in the biblical legend, our hero sees a fire in the distance and goes to its light. There he meets a group of people who are very friendly towards him. After the initiation, the hero changes, so that the authorities and machine intelligence can no longer find him. It turns out that new acquaintances are part of a community that keeps books in their minds. One remembers Ecclesiastes. The second is the revelations of John the Evangelist. The hero joins in, and also becomes a human book, carrying in himself the most valuable thing that humanity has. My compliments to the memory of the great storyteller, Ray Douglas Bradbury.